Welcome back to my channel. She was said in, in case you don't know who I am, if you're new, y'all subscribe because y'all going to like what I have to say. I already know it. I can see the future. Just kidding. <laughs> hey, y'all. Okay, so how y'all doing? I took a poll to see what topic you guys want to discuss today, and this topic won. Yay! So this topic is how to gain confidence and keep it up. So one thing about confidence, one thing about confidence is that it comes in your own belief. You must believe it in order to have it. That's number one. So, a lot of people cannot get past the first thing to gain confidence. They don't believe that they have what it takes. They don't believe they're good enough. They don't believe this, this, and that. So, that is number one. You got to believe. Got to believe. Got to believe. If you don't believe, then it's going to be hard. Okay. So many people walk around believing in everything else but themselves. Now, I'm going to tell y'all, you will find someone who believes in everything else that's probably ain't even real except for themselves. Okay. They will believe something someone that they don't even know said. They will believe in something that they don't even really know exists. They will believe somebody can do something better than them and they have not even tried. So number one is belief. If you have trouble believing in yourself, the only reason that you have trouble doing that is because you never tried. Okay. You never really tried. You've never done something to where you kept going until you were successful. So that's why you don't believe because you've never done anything to believe. Hey, you know, so my my advice is to do something that you're very good at. Whatever your talent or skill is, make sure you do it on a daily basis. You know, whether it's writing, drawing, uh, talking to people, um, whatever it is, make sure you're doing it daily. That way, your confidence in yourself and your ability is growing in some area. It don't have to be every area, but just some area. One area is better than no areas. Thank you, Miss Natasha Sprinkle Sprinkle Girl. Preach. Okay. Then after you get into the habit of doing something daily that, you know, boosts your confidence and level of, um, you know, belief in self, then you add something else that you're not good at, okay? Then you take on a challenge. And once you put that challenge in your, you know, daily activity, each time you succeed at that challenge, each day that you improve on something, your belief starts to grow within yourself. You can see yourself accomplishing things on a daily basis. You are a witness to yourself. And you're not really telling people what you're doing because this is a personal journey. So you don't need to tell anybody. You don't need to show anybody. You just need to do what you're doing and only consult yourself. Now you're going to get feedback. If it's positive feedback, you know, you know you're going in the right direction. Thank you, Addie. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, the next thing is to dispel all those things that people told you before and get them out of your mind. Okay. If, if someone has told you that you can't do this and you can't do that and blah, 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 it's not true because they don't know because you've never even tried to do it. So how do they know? Are they psychic? Okay. So they don't know. So you have to realize they don't know. They don't know. So why are you taking it as truth? So throw all that speculation, I'll call it, out. Call uh, Throw all the false predictions out. You know, throw them out because they're not true because you are, you are still able to prove them wrong. So therefore, they are untruths. Okay? So throw them out. 
They don't exist anymore. It's up to you to do whatever you want to do. Okay, you might not even want to do what they say you couldn't do. You might do something totally different. It don't even matter. But throw out that mentality. Okay, if you're being told constantly, the devil is a lie. The devil is a lie, baby. The devil is a lie. Just if I tell you the sky's green five times a day, are you going to believe me? If I tell you something that you know is not true or hasn't been proven yet, are you going to believe me? The only reason you will believe me is because you don't believe in you, in your own mind. And I have more power over you. So therefore, you are weaker than me. So you must strengthen your mind. You must tell yourself every time they tell you something, you need to tell yourself the exact opposite. She don't know the future, but who she thinks she is? Miss Cleo or something? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so whenever they say something, tell yourself the opposite right back into your own mind. So whatever. Just because you can't do it, don't mean I can't. <clears throat> you know, because that's really what they're saying. You can't do it because I can't do it. So you're not going to be able to do it because I don't think I can do it. So therefore, you can't do it. So they're comparing you to them and they are underestimating you by their ability to do something, which is stupid because, you know, it's just not true. So. After you do something positive every day and block the negative by, you know, mentally saying whatever, you know, whatever. You don't know what you're talking about. Keep doing that on a daily basis. And before long, their opinion, you won't even hear it anymore. You'll be like, because you'll be halfway there and you'll be halfway to proving them wrong. But you're not going to tell them. You're not going to say nothing to them because you don't want them to sabotage you. So you're just going, OK, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then one day when they open their mouth to say something, well, you can't do that. You're going to plop it down. Well, I already did it. Bye. What's next? OK, so let's talk more work. Let's talk more effort. And whatever somebody tells you, it doesn't make it true. Okay? It just it don't make it true. No matter what, no matter how many times they say it, it's still not going to be true unless you allow it to be true. So get rid of all of that. doesn't even matter. I don't care who telling you that. My mom has told me stuff that I would laugh at. You know, and we as parents, because I'm a parent, if I tell my daughter she can't do something and she knows she can do it, it doesn't mean I'm right. It means I don't think she can do it, but she does. So she's going to put more effort into that and do it. You know, maybe there's a part of her that I'm not aware of that's deep down inside that's going to push her to that next level. I don't know. So even I can't tell my own kids they can't do something because I'm wrong. All right. So don't listen to people. Listen to yourself. OK, so that's another way to build your confidence is to hang around people that are not negative. Get away from negative people. We already know that. That's an easy one. Okay. So stay away from negative people. If you can't, don't listen to them and block them out. Like I said earlier, the next thing is to constantly be working toward whatever you need to work toward to build your confidence, whether it's your weight, your appearance, your makeup game, your clothing, um, your speech, whatever it is, or all of the above work on it daily. Don't skip. We're going to daily because every day you'll be more and more confident if you continue to work on it. Okay. If you continue to work, if you don't work on it today, you're not going to be as confident tomorrow. But if you work on it today, you wake up in the morning, you're like, oh, I did good yesterday. I'm going to get on the scale. Oh my gosh. Yes, I lost two pounds. Oh, yes. Oh, my skin looks so good because I, I washed my face good last night. Look at my hair. You know, every day you wake up, you see improvements if you keep working daily on it. If you just give up and listen to what all them other people say and don't do nothing and just sit there and eat ice cream and cry and, you know, drink, whatever, whatever. And you wake up the next morning, and you look crazy and gain three pounds and your skin is all gray 
and you're going to feel a lack of confidence, especially when you leave your house. You're going to be like, oh, I don't look good today. Oh, I shouldn't have ate that last night. Or, oh, I shouldn't have did that. Or, da, da, da. You know, this is the whole thing. I wonder if people can tell that I gained five. This is what you're going to be thinking all day. Instead of, oh, my God, I look so good. Oh, look, look, I'm getting compliments left and right. Oh, I got a free coffee. Da, 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 da. You know, this is the difference between confidence and no confidence. You must work on your confidence. It is self, keyword self, confidence, not outside confidence, not confidence from your mama, not confidence from your daddy, not confidence from your sister, not confidence from your boyfriend, husband, ex, children, whoever. It's self. Okay. Don't come from nowhere else but you. That's how you work on it every day. And if you try to blame anybody else, for your lack of self-confidence is because you are not trying to build your self-confidence. You are looking for excuses to not build it. Okay? Because if you don't build your own self-confidence, nobody will. Nobody going to build your confidence because they have nothing to gain from it. In fact, they might lose out. So what are they going to do? Tear it down. Okay? Because you're more beneficial to someone if you don't have any self-confidence. Okay? <clears throat> Just think about it like that. You can't listen to anybody else but yourself because it's self-confidence. Now, how do people get to a level of self-confidence where they just don't care what people say? They're going to walk in a room like they own it no matter what they look like. It don't matter, you know, and I posted a link below to the video that uh, is an audio book to the 48 Laws of Power. And y'all need to listen to that. It's an audio book. Y'all can listen to it when y'all drive, get ready in the morning. Some of y'all already listened to it. But one of, the, one of the rules or the laws of power is to act like royalty. Walk in that room like you are royal. Okay? Walk in the room like you're royal. Don't walk in there like you're a peasant. Okay? Um, and one thing about royalty is that when they present themselves to the public, they don't look like a slob. They are well polished and taken care of, and they care about what they look like. In fact, it's in their set of rules that they must follow when in the royal families. They can't come out the house looking crazy. You will never see them looking crazy. The paparazzi can't get them looking crazy because it's against the law. or I mean, against their laws, against their rules. You can never find them looking crazy because they can't leave looking crazy. So... Use that to present yourself to the public and walk in the way that royalty walks. Why? Because royalty has to present confidence for their people. Okay. And if you lack confidence, then your countrymen or whoever lack confidence in the country and, you know, leadership. So you must walk in confidence at all times. You have to represent Okay. Um, if you have trouble doing this, ask yourself why. Why do I have trouble walking in like I own the place, like I'm royal? Why can't I feel that way? And you'll you'll find the answer. You the reason you can't feel that way is maybe because you don't treat yourself that way. It don't matter who treats you like what. How do you treat yourself? Mm -hmm. How do you treat yourself? Do you treat yourself like royalty? It starts with self. So if you don't feel like royalty, it's because you don't treat yourself like royalty. I treat myself like royalty all the time, sometimes too much. And I have to remember, oh my gosh, do I sound like I'm? <laughs> oh, well, it works. So, you know, sometimes you got to treat yourself like royalty Present yourself like royalty and others will treat you as royalty. Okay. 
And once you do that, you'll see the major difference in your self-confidence just with those few things that I just mentioned. Okay. Now there is a line. There is a line between confidence and con being conceited or um, arrogant. Okay. Some people don't want to cross that line because they're afraid. Oh, I don't want to be seen as arrogant. I don't want to be seen as conceited. I don't want to be seen as that. I don't want to be seen as this. Well, remember, nobody likes someone who's too perfect. And that's also one of the 48 laws of power. You can't be perfect. Better to be known as arrogant than a doormat. You can fix arrogance. It's easier to fix arrogance and humble yourself temporarily than to rise up from a doormat. So when you're not perfect, you can apologize. I'm so sorry. I was acting a little bit conceited and arrogant. What was I thinking? Oh, my. You know, it's easier to fix that than to come crawling up from a doormat. So you don't have to worry about that. You can always adjust and never be too perfect. You know. Um, you're typically shy. How can you gain more confidence? How can I walk with royalty when I'm shy? Um. The thing about shy people is that you're worried about other people interacting with you. Um, you know, so practice talking to people on a daily basis, whether it's at the grocery store, you know, wherever you can try to talk to people until you're no longer shy. Just get it. Uh, talk to children first. It's easier to talk to kids. Okay. Start by talking to kids young adults, and then work your way up. Thank you, Crystal Sprinkle Sprinkle. If my man like the ghetto Barbie look, should I stay like that to keep him and always improve or mix it up a little? Love you, girl. Sprinkle Sprinkle, I mix it up. That's another law of, you know, mixing it up. Change it up. every, Change it up all the time. Give, give him a variety. Maybe he don't know what else he likes. Show him something else. Maybe he likes that look better. And then you can switch it on over, but keep changing it up. You can go, you can do what you want. You can look like that, but then switch it up one week and switch it back the next week. Switch it up one week. Da, 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 da. Maybe he'll see something better that you that he likes and your style changes. So I always say switch it up, but never abandon what they, you know, fell for you looking like. Never abandon that look altogether, but try some different ones. Thank you, Jen. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Do I ignore him when he mocks my fat journey? Lost journey. Um, I really don't care about people mocking me for my fat loss journey, or you shouldn't either. You know what I'm saying? Just laugh. Just like, uh -huh. <laughs> and, and just keep it moving. If it has no power, they'll quit. Thank you, Medina. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Like, in, in, insults that come out of people's mouth, it's no reason for concern. You, at least they're paying attention to you, baby. They could be ignoring you and not saying nothing to you. You still on their mind every day, all day. <laughs> um, so, more confident uh, tips, more confidence. Um, switching it up like I was just talking about. Maybe you don't like your current look. Maybe you haven't explored all the looks that you can explore to, to build your confidence. Maybe looking different every other week is a confidence builder because you know you look good any type of way you try to look. Maybe one week you don't, maybe the next week you do. But it's going to constantly build you up because you're going to be so used to switching it up that you're going to be confident in any skin, any clothes, any look. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Leaning Sprinkle Sprinkle Girl. So switch it up. You don't feel comfortable with what you look like now, change it up, you know. Um, yeah, another another way is to hang around people that make you look better. Shoot, there's no other confidence builder than to hang around people that are not on your level. <laughs> okay. You want to feel good? Go walk around somebody looking crazy. 
that builds your confidence. You know, you want to feel good about yourself? Go watch My 600 Pound Life. Okay, don't don't be watching a, uh, you know, bikini model. Thank you, Samantha Sprinkle Sprinkle. Provider thinks he's the prize. Tell me I can't do better. How do I make him think I have an option? Love you, Shiro. By looking like you have options, darling. If someone told me that, I wouldn't believe them because I know the truth. I do have better options. They're telling you that because they don't want you to look for better options because they know there are better options out there. Okay? Why would you tell someone that if you know that there's no better option? You wouldn't say nothing because it wouldn't be a problem. You wouldn't have to say nothing because there's no other options. You see? You wouldn't tell somebody something if it didn't matter. Oh, she'll never find somebody else, but I ain't going to tell her that. Well, you know, I'm going to spare her little feelings. She just, I know she, I'm not worried about it. She ain't going nowhere. Nobody else won't her. But if he has to tell you that all the time, it means they do. It means he's trying to trick you. Thank you, Crystal. In feminine, if feminine women make masculine men melt, what do what do they do to Dusties? It makes them feel like um, they got the bad end of the stick. It makes them feel like, dang, I need a masculine woman. It makes the Dusty feel like he need a masculine woman because he can't, he can't provide. You know, he's mad because there's nothing he can do for a feminine woman because he's feminine too. Um. <laughs> Right. So when someone tells you something, why would they tell you? You know, makes no sense. So just y'all just just use your brain a little bit and think, why? Why are they telling me this? If I couldn't find anyone, would it be relevant to mention? Because obviously he's trying to keep me here. For a reason. Thank you, Miss Natasha. What about confidence tips for people with. Acne scars. Girl, walk around like you you royalty. Just like I said. It don't matter if you got acne scars. If you okay with them, everybody else okay with them. Okay? If you come out look, acting like the most beautiful thing in the world, like Vanessa Williams did, she had acne scars. She's just like... She came out and she didn't care. If you accept them, everybody else will. Accept yourself first. Thank you, uh, Serena. How do you always remain a challenge to James? I always remain a challenge to James because I'm always changing it up. I'm always acting like the prize. I'm always walking around like I'm royalty. That's how. Sprinkle, sprinkle, Serena. Thank you, girl. Sharika, thank you. I try to dress well and keep makeup and hair looking nice. Go to nice places, smile, but I get limited attention. Tips, sprinkle, sprinkle. Um. Act like royalty once again. If you walk in some place acting like royalty, people are going to notice. You go to the bar, you know, royalty, perfect posture, manners, you know, confidence. Hi, how are you? May I please have the... Thank you so much. You know, act royal. Walk in there like you got a million dollars in your bank account, girl. You don't have to have it. You just have to look like it. People pay attention to people's um, demeanor. Okay. People pay attention to your demeanor. I could walk in looking the exact same way and get two totally different um, perspectives from different people. So if I walk in like this, like, excuse me, um, uh, can I get, can I get an iced tea? Can I get an iced tea? Thank you. And, and can I have a menu? But if I walk in like this, sit down. Just sit here like this. Someone is going to approach me. Okay. Ma'am, can I help you? Do you need a menu? Would you like to drink? Would you like to see this? Would you like to see that? Sure. You know, it's how you present yourself. 
how you walk in, how much confidence you have when you walk in a place is how people treat you. Men watch. They watch you. They know whether you're insecure. They know whether you're needy. They know whether you're confident. They know whether you're broke when they see you walk through a door. Okay? They do. They know if you love yourself or if you hate yourself. So that's what you got to keep in mind when you walk through any door. They can see that. They're looking for certain things. And if you're not presenting them, that's why you're not getting response. Okay. Um, so practice walking in places like royalty. And you'll see a difference, I promise. Stick your nose up in the air. And keep it, go keep it moving. Don't be humble. Stick that nose up, baby. I am important. Uh huh. How do you get confidence in dating when you have less experience? If you're a woman, you're the prize. Point blank, period. If you're a woman, you're the prize. If you're a woman, you're the prize. Act like the prize. And your confidence will grow if you act like the prize, if you act like royalty. Um, Another way to build your confidence after like a long time not believing in yourself or losing your confidence, look at your old pictures. Look at when you were confident. What were you doing at that time? Why were you so confident? Who was surrounding you at that time? Thank you, Lynn, Lynn, Sprinkle, Sprinkle. And try to remember how you felt and why you felt that way. And then start to think about when you started losing it. What habits were you picking up? Who were you hanging around? You know, then start to address, adjust accordingly. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about clothing. Clothing can take your confidence from zero to 100, okay? Cinderella. Look at Cinderella. Cinderella was dressed in rags, cleaning up somebody's house. She was a maid. That fairy godmother came and sprinkle sprinkled on her. And she got his new dress and some cute shoes. She got a coach. She had a, a, a chauffeur. And she showed up to the ball late. And she made an entry. She, she could have came in through the back. She could have snuck down the side. She could have snuck down the side. She came in on the middle staircase and just walked down like, I am here. Now, where does she get that confidence from? That dress, that outfit? Okay. So clothing is very important. That's why I would say throw all that um, clothing away that makes you feel bad about yourself. Throw everything away that doesn't make you feel beautiful. Thank you, Tan Tanisha. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I have a ghetto name. Should I change it to criminal age? No. You know what? Some people go by their middle name. Some people shorten the name. But, you know, if you don't like it, then change it. But I don't think you should change for other people. I think you, if you want to modify it temporarily, you know, and call yourself this, this, and that, that's fine. But I, I don't know. If, if you want to, yes. But I don't think you should, like, I think you should just alter it if you must, but don't change it legally. I wear these cute shoes with this cute dress. Those shoes hurt so bad. I feel like crying. Girl, you better get a bigger size. Mm, get you some foot corn pads or something. <laughs> so thank you, Brie. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What if you have no curves? They sell curves on wish.com, aliexpress.com. They sell curves on in the local beauty supply store. They sell curves, baby. They sell them. Go look online. Now you got some curves. Um, <clears throat> or you can buy curves in the plastic surgeon's office. Or you could be happy with what you look like and play up your own figure to um, your best features. Thank you, Serena. Did men treat you different when you weighed more? They are daily top habits. Um, thank you, Serena. Sprinkle, sprinkle. They did. Uh, but I still got hit on. I still got hit on because I had the confidence. I, 
I always had confidence, no matter how I looked, that I still got hit on that. The, the more I lost, the more the men had earned that hit on me. The, the bigger their wallets got. How about that? The money came in. Okay. Money started coming in. The attraction was always there because I had the confidence. But the money started rolling in when you lose the weight. Okay. Um, so that's the difference. If you have washcloth, you can make curves. <laughs> okay. I'll give some tips. Thank you, Lynn Lynn. Sure, I have no real friends. Would the upper class men I'm trying to date see me as a loser because of it? I have hobbies too. I'm like, I don't have that many friends either, baby. I think most people that don't have a lot of friends are probably very intelligent. Okay. So just focus on yourself. Your friends are your family. How about that? You're, you have yet to meet, you have yet to meet your friends unless you have kids. So, you said kids. Uh, I don't worry about people thinking I'm a loser because I know I'm a winner. How can, how can people think I'm a loser when I'm winning? That's done. Like I said, walk in like royalty. Royalty ain't losing. This little piece of bang is making me mad though. But remember that. Stop worrying about what other people think. The, what, you know what they're going to think? What you put out. What you portray, how you act, how you accept yourself, that's what they're going to think. Okay? If you go in and say, oh, I don't have no friends, I'm a loser, or act like it. Or you can go in and say, oh, I really love being alone. I enjoy my quiet and peace. And I, I'm social, but, you know. Mm hmm Thank you, Felicia. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Shira, for your wisdom. You're my little big sister. Your channel has helped me to truly love me. Aw, thank you. I'm a godsend. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So, yeah, you just, you got to keep that confident level up at all times. At all times. I'm, I'm confident in my dreams. When I sleep and I'm dreaming, I'm confident in there, too. <laughs> That's how you know it's real. You confident up in them dreams. So, remember, royalty, you could, you know, <laughs> I mean, we have crackheads walking around like royalty talking about I'm Michael Jackson's cousin or I'm Beyonce's cousin. You got crackheads walking around more confidence than you. What's, you know, what's wrong with y'all? <laughs> okay um right right y'all have to keep the mind confident feed your mind things that build your confidence on a daily basis just like you feed your face feed your mind confidence you know you go, you go to lunch you feed yourself feed yourself confidence as well You know, go to the go to go get your flu, your lunch and your food, eat it, and be like, oh, I bet I look good eating. You know, how can I look good? How can I look my best while I'm eating? I don't know, but build yourself in all ways. You feed your face, feed your confidence. Um. Do for self. Do treat yourself. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. If you see something you like and you can afford it, and it ain't gonna make you, you know, broke. Buy it. Get it. You deserve it. Who else gonna get it for you if you don't wear it and they can't see what you really like, so they can go buy you some more? Okay. Thank you. Sprinkle. Sprinkle. Boyfriend ruined my birthday. How should you handle it? Go celebrate by yourself. You go out by yourself. Go to a, a nice place. Tell people, oh, it's my birthday. Guess how many free drinks you finna get. Guess how many free everything you finna get. Guess, guess how many dollars you gonna get from men. Guess how many numbers you might get. Go out. 
look cute, tell people it's your birthday, see what happens. That's what I'll do about it, because I don't care. He ain't ruined nothing. All he did was give you an opportunity to go meet other people and get some, some money and some free stuff. That's all he did. And keep that confidence. Like, whenever someone messes up, it's their bad. Oh, well, they done messed up. Here I go. It's their punishment now. It ain't yours. Mm-hmm. If somebody mess up, oh, well, they're going to be sad tonight. Mm-hmm. I feel that at my best when I'm dressed well. Mm-hmm. I done that with my godmother. We went and everything was for free. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, sure, you are changing my life. Oh, thank you, girl, Deidre. Women will complain you just as much as the man, right? My boss used to tell me I was insecure because I dressed fantastic. Think she was envy of me. Yeah. Say, no, darling, insecure people hide themselves. I'm showing it off. Correct people. Don't be afraid to correct people unless they are your boss. Then just like, okay, I'm just going to keep being insecure. Backfired. You're right. I'm so insecure. That's why I have to look good on a daily basis because I'm so insecure. Thank you for realizing reverse psychology. Just that means you you still gonna dress cute. She can't. She has no power over you. How you dress? Okay. Um. You voluptuous like Kim K. My natural body type. I don't. Hold on. I'm trying to scroll back up. You look like Kim K, body type. Don't know if I have high caliber band like that. Should I lose weight to remove curves? Um, do what you want to do. So basically, what kind of man do you want? What kind of body type do those men like? Do what you got to do to get to that body type or close to it. You know what I mean? So it's up to you. You know, we don't, we all have different wants. So which, whichever thing that you desire, that's what you do. Um, sure, how do I work on a mindset to gain confidence after being emotional? Girl, ain't no such thing as emotional abuse. You know why? And I'm going to tell you why. And Don't be mad, but I'm going to tell you. There's only such thing as acceptance of someone else's words. All you have to do is whatever that person told you, Know that it's a lie. Okay. Understand that it is a lie. They were lying to you. You ever get you ever found out somebody was lying to you? You ever feel you ever found out you ever caught somebody in a lie? That's how you need to feel. You know, they were they were just lying. Oh my god, it was lying the whole time. You just have to know that it was a lie. It was a lie. Okay. Don't see it as truth. Always see it as lie. Why are you letting lies affect how you feel about yourself? Okay. So just know that it was a lie. And your confidence before that abuse, go right back to that. Okay. Go right back to that. Whatever you were doing before, wherever you left off, Go back and continue. Thank you. Uh, how do you react to the tension without getting nervous? I need to know this also. Does royalty get nervous? You got you got in your mind. You got to feel like royalty. You have to feel like people like you, respect you, fear you, adore you. You got to feel that when you walk into a room. Okay, and that's what you're gonna put out. Y'all like me, y'all adore me, y'all kind of fear me, y'all admire me too. That's how you got to walk in. You got to feel that. And when you feel it, it there's something in your voice, in your walk, in your talk, in your posture that tells them that subconsciously. And that's how they will treat you. If you act nervous, they're going to wonder why you're so nervous. What's wrong with you? 
you know, so you got to feel how you want people to treat you. Come on, you kitty. Oh, I thought you were the cat. I thought you were more. Mm -hmm. Got to feel it. <laughs> Sasha, great. Thank you, Sasha. So, you know, you're nervous on a job interview. You're nervous on a first date. You're nervous on the first day of school. But after you get in there and, you know, start looking around and, you know, mingling, that nervousness goes away. So um, you got to keep, you got to keep it up, keep up your confidence until it goes away because it eventually will. It's temporary. Nervousness is temporary. It's not a permanent thing. After you get comfortable, it leaves. So, mm -hmm. do I think that people that do I think the reason people have low self esteem is because they have been lied to? Yeah, of course. When you believe lies, you act accordingly. You know. So, everything that people told you, it was a lie. If you stop believing the lies, your confidence is easier to return. Mm-hmm. Oh. Now, people that lack confidence and have to build it up and they don't own everything about themselves, they have to work up to it. You know what I'm saying? They have to work up to it. They have to do a little bit at a time. They're not going to feel confident um, as much as the next person who has owned everything about themselves and flaunts it um, makes people accept it, you know. But in certain situations, especially when you're trying to attract a certain type of man or get a certain type of, you know, man or get some money, you have to play the game. And that's why I put down that 48 Laws of Power audiobook in there because the game also has a lot to do with your confidence. Like, if you want to create a lifestyle <clears throat> to give you also more confidence because you have freedom now and money, you have to do this in order to get that. You know what I'm saying? So, after a while, your confidence level your confidence level will grow because you've attained your goal you've accomplished what you set out to accomplish so therefore your confidence gets even higher do billionaires hang out in the same places as millionaires i don't know feminine goddess i'm i'm sure they do <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe not. How do you mentally, oh, sprinkle, sprinkle, how do you mentally, spiritually handle setbacks? I can be killing it, but then I hit a setback, go to rock bottom, lose confidence. A setback is just another challenge. A setback is a challenge. You know, when you play video games, the, every level has a new challenge. Every level got a new challenge. The more you level up, you're going to see new challenges. They're not setbacks. They're challenges. you got to beat the level. That's why we call it level up. you got to beat the level. Okay? You don't, you don't stop and start all the way over when you're playing video games. That's any Dusty. When they lose a round or they can't pass a level, what do they do? Do they start all the way over? No. So they start from that level and keep it moving. Okay. So there's no such thing as a setback. It's just a challenge. That's it. How are you going to solve this problem? Oh, you think you leveled up now? Let's see how leveled up you are at this. Solve this problem. Let's see what you could do. Okay. I'm going to show you what I could do. Setback. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I guess I got to get smarter. I guess I got to get more clever. I guess I got to try something new out. 
you know, thank you, Jen. Sprinkle, sprinkle. My provider talks crap when I try to level up and lose weight. He also works at home. How do I focus with his negative energy around? Do what you're going to do anyway. Ignore him. Ignore him. Ignore him. Okay. Ignore him. He just don't want you to get to where you want to get because he's afraid he going to lose you, girl. Now, why would a provider, now listen to me very closely, why would somebody that's paying for you try to sabotage you? Think about that for two seconds. Why would someone who is paying for you trying to sabotage you? And there you, your answer lies. Because they are afraid to lose you. That's a compliment. Okay. Every time he says something negative, it's to pull you down because he knows you can do better. So I would say, oh, that's so sweet. He's trying to keep me from looking my best because he want me all to himself. That's so sweet. Oh, well, he's going to have to level up himself too. He's going to have to. Put in my work. He's going to be chasing after I lose his weight and do A, B, C, and D because I already know he don't want me to because he's afraid I'm going to leave him and get a better provider. He's telling you that. And what he's really telling you is I'm afraid to lose you. That's all he's saying. Y'all need to learn how to translate. <sighs> this is off topic. Aunt has full custody of my son. Oh, I can't read the rest of that message, but um, she had tips for women who grew up with daddy issues, especially if their dad was dusty abusive. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, don't marry somebody like your daddy. Don't end up with somebody like your daddy. Go for the opposite. That simple, that easy. Okay, there you go. Whatever you don't like about him, go for the opposite of somebody else. It's that easy. You, you grew up poor. You don't want to be poor. Then don't be poor. Get money. Okay. There's no, we're not going to sit there and explore that any further. That is cut and dry. Go the opposite way. When you have daddy issues, abuse issues, there's two ways you go. The same way or the opposite way. Which way you going? Choose and, and keep it moving. <laughs> Do you believe in having a vision for yourself? I sure do. Had a vision of my, for myself at 17 years old. That's why I was like, oh, never going to marry a Dusty. Never going to have no kids with no Dusty. Never going to settle down with no Dusty. Dusties are for fun. And uh, when you hit a certain age, it's time to leave them alone. I sure did have a vision for myself and I stuck to it. And I didn't let people persuade me to go any other way. I, I already knew. That's, and that's very important. When you have confidence, you also have set standards. No one can move them. Mm -hmm. How often do you set new goals? Um, New goals? All the time. Every time I embark on something different or new, that's a new goal. All the time. What the best way to read behind the lines think pause and think instead of being emotional why are they doing this ask yourself why are they doing this and why would you be doing this switch places if you are a man and yo no if you are if you're a woman and your man got fat and he start trying to lose weight all of a sudden what you gonna say you know you don't want to lose he, why are you losing weight uh oh i'm scared he gonna he's gonna leave me so i better tell him some something you know, so when people start changing for the better, other people get scared. You know, so read between those lines. When you hear negativity, look for the positive in it. And there goes your answer. Look for the opposite. Look for the positive, And there's your answer. That's how you read between. Like, OK, you know what? You don't like me leveling up. Wow. Ooh, you scared. Ooh, why are you scared? You know, because oh, I can do good there. That's a confidence builder right there. Asking them, why are they scared? Why are they scared of your self-improvement? Because they, they believe in you more than you believe in yourself. And they don't want you to know it. My key is to always focus on me first. That's right. Um, 
high. So yeah, build your confidence by looking your best, reading between them lines, improving on a daily basis, acting like royalty, and believing everything else contrary to your confidence is a lie. Okay? It is a lie. So if you walk around with that mentality, you will have confidence. Mm-hmm. Haters know your potential even when you don't. Exactly. Listen to the haters. They why, why are they hating on you, girl? Why they, what's the fear? Why why are you picking on me? People don't hate on people that don't matter. Okay. Think about it. You're not you're not a victim. You're actually, you know, a threat. a threat. Otherwise, people wouldn't bother with you. They wouldn't even notice you. Um, what if he complains about spending and says I should find someone richer? What makes you think I don't have somebody richer? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What makes you think I don't have somebody richer? What makes you think I don't know someone richer already? Girl, put him in his place. <laughs> or, you know, that's a great idea. Because this ain't working. <laughs> put him in his place. All he's doing is what? Okay, I'll read between that line. When someone says you need to find someone richer, it means I am not going to pay for you. You need to find someone richer because I want you at a discount, hoping that you will lower your standards by my threat to leave you or by my threat that I don't care if you leave you to find something richer. So, and he's also saying that you can find someone richer. He's basically saying you can find someone richer, you have options. But he wants to use it to control you. So I would acknowledge the fact that that is true. And see what he do. It's like, yeah, my mom says the same thing. My sister tells me the same thing. Every time we go out, men with a lot of money always hit on me. Maybe I should have listened to them. There you go. Thank you, Autumn Rose. I discovered husband keeps a spreadsheet of things he has spent on me, like birthday, their clothes, dentist, other things. What to do? Girl, who cares about the spreadsheet? Why do you care? Maybe he's budgeting how much you cost. How much you cost? How much you worth? I try to add stuff to it. Throw some extra stuff in the cart at the grocery store. See if he count that. Does he count uh, tampons and stuff too? Why don't you go and fill some more stuff out on it? So you forgot this. You forgot that. Yeah, women are expensive. You know, I would make it, I would make it funny. Like, okay, well, at least you're good at budgeting. <laughs> In case the divorce pops up, you can show how much that you didn't cost them. Take a picture of it though. But I wouldn't really care. I'd be adding stuff on it. You're damn right I'm expensive. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lil Lovey Girl. Lil, Lil, Lil Lover Girl. I quit my job today because my boss was a 40-year-old single woman who hates her life and projected that onto me. My dad is a provider male who pays all of my bills, so I made it possible for me to teach him. Good for you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I did the same thing, girl. I did the same thing. Can't be, you can't be hanging around hater, hater women. Okay? You can't hang around hater women. You got to get away. <laughs> they will take it out on you. <laughs> Advice on how to dress feminine at 18. Huh? Feminine colors and don't dress too revealing, you know. Feminine colors, but don't be too revealing. Dresses, skirts. You can do jeans and stuff too, but 
um, when you want, really want to go for feminine, go for skirts or dress. Okay. How to appeal to others socially whilst trying to deceive, oh, trying to delve into the music industry? Um. I mean, for me, I don't like mixing business with pleasure, but that's just me. There's other people that do. I can't because I don't want to work. I just want the money. You know, <laughs> I just want their money. And if you get the money, then you can put yourself in the industry. You know what I'm saying? I always tell people, you ain't got to do anything if you got money, but put yourself where exactly where you want to be. Get the money first. You can put yourself in the industry. Okay. Don't don't be a hoe for the industry. Let the industry be a hoe for you and get the, that industry money for them industry people. Them sugar daddies and stuff. And then you go and do what you got to do. Y'all trying to um, do it the wrong way. Do it that way. Mm -hmm. I find it hard to make a female friend. Then that don't mean you need none right now, baby. Pink spider, if you find it hard, it's not time for no free female friends. Okay? Stay by yourself. Focus on your bag. Do you know when female friends truly find each other? When they're in the same position and they're comfortable and they have time to actually do stuff? You know, and there's no competition. You married. She married with the bag. You married with the bag. Y'all got kids. They go to the same school. Y'all like the same stuff. There's your friend. Someone who's on your level already and has nothing to gain from you. Okay. All you're looking for is competition. So remember that. Um, what to do when you keep getting rejected? Change something. Okay. Change something. It's you. Figure it out. Change your look up. Change your approach. Change your outfits. Go for a totally new look. Go for a totally new approach. Walk in like your royalty. Change it up. If something's not working, it must change. Hey, Sheila, I'm chilling with friends in my car watching you. Hey, uh, Tiffany Dish. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Hi, friends. <laughs> my best friend calls me Sheila. Thanks for all the advice. <laughs> Aw. If people are trying to keep you down, does that mean they believe you're more? Yep. Nobody tries to keep, no one is going to work to keep someone down that does not have potential. You know? Do you go out every day and kick homeless people and say stay down? Do you steal, do you rob from the homeless? No. Why? Because they're not a threat to you. You don't fear them taking your spot. You don't fear them outdoing you. You don't fear them outdoing you. So you don't have to hold them down. Okay? <laughs> you have to start thinking like me to the extreme. People, people are, are not holding people that's already down, down. They're only holding people down that they feel are a threat to them. Why do they do this to you? Because you're a threat. Figure out why you're a threat and maybe there's your confidence. Sitting listening to you while on the phone with your sugar daddy. Okay, Jamaican. A cootie. Did I, did I say it right? <laughs> One of my classmates got pregnant on purpose to her boyfriend and forced him to engage. LOL. She got what she wanted. Um, so yeah, your confidence lies within. Nobody can take it from you and nobody can give it to you. It's up to you. It's a choice. And it's self-work. And you must work on it daily until it's just there. You must keep it by maintaining what you were doing. And never believing lies again from other people. Learning to read between those lines. And to keep setting goals and knocking them down. How do I manage with insecurities, especially people pointed out? I own my insecurities. 
and they no longer are insecurities once you own them. Okay. They're traits. They become traits. Okay. They're only an insecurity if you agree that they're an insecurity. Think about it. This person who's famous over here can be insecure, but skinny and beautiful, but she can be insecure about one thing. Then you can have this person over here like Lizzo, who's, you know, not so skinny and twerking on stage and a leotard playing a flute. They're both famous, but one is insecure about something and the other one is not. And the point is, it's up to you what you want to be insecure. Either you own it or you let it become an insecurity. Yeah. So whatever your insecurity is, own it. Own it. If someone tries to use it against you, own it. And they can't ever use it again, ever, because you owned it. It can't be used against you when you own it. If you own something, it cannot be used against you. So own it. How to out tie with a dusty? What? Cut ties with a dusty? Is it okay to be rude and cold? Nope. Just ask him for some money and he will cut ties with you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Ask him for some money, a large amount, he will cut ties with you. <clears throat> is it is it hard to act like you love an ugly, dumb provider? Nope. It ain't hard because what you're um, what you're actually doing is creating the lifestyle that you desire. Your goal is to get to the bag. So it's not hard. Because you're seeing the goal. What do you, what to do about having a baby face? Make up the contour. Get you some. Get you some lashes and some contour. Shira, you recommend checking up on him when he's almost 70 and losing it a bit. I know you said text them first. Oh, he forgot to text because he's losing it. Girl, he's been old so long. He, he don't care. Yeah, if he's that old, girl, you could call him. He might be dead. He might need to do a life check on him. Thank you, Samantha Brooks. Besides tears, best way to respond when he's upset. Besides tears, take the blame. Take it. Take the full blame. Apologize. It's your fault. I'm so sorry. You're right. You know, I don't know what I was thinking. Then let him continue to talk. He knows that if you take the blame for something and he's upset, and you've taken the blame for something. Now you're sad. You're um, you feel bad. You're not going to be in a good mood. So he's going to try to cheer you up in some type of way because he don't want the, the time that you have together to go to waste. Okay. Sheer, what... Do you think of Miss Universe pageant? Do you think those women are pick -me's? Um, No, I don't at all. That's a lot of hard work. They put in a lot of effort and work. And they already know they're going to marry somebody rich when it's over, even if they don't win. Thank you, AK Penguin. What if the man that is opposite of your dad, men that you're attracted to, doesn't have money, but treats you really well with the money he does have? Then... Um, oh, sprinkle, sprinkle, by the way. Um, is he going to be able to treat you good when you have kids, a mortgage, and can't work? Is he going to be able to treat you the same? Or is he going to turn into your dad because he ain't got enough money to provide for a family? Think about it. Get you some money, baby. I always tell you, money first. 
because a man with just enough to take care of you, okay, ain't going to be able to take care of you, your kids, a mortgage, medical bills, and you not working. He ain't going to be able to do it. He's going to turn right into your daddy. Dusty, broke, mad because he got to work and can't afford his family because you married him when he wasn't ready financially. So go for the money. I don't care. Go for that money because you're going to regret it. <laughs> y'all got y'all have to really think about what turned Dusty's into Dusty's. <laughs> Pygmishas. How to deal with owning confidence if you currently depend on people who put you down is hard at times. Girl, you can depend on somebody and don't believe a word they say. I need some money. You're in. Okay, but I still need some money. Thank you. On to the next. You can take money without listening. You can take money without believing what people say. Tell yourself. The opposite when they say it. Oh, you need da, 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 da. okay, yeah, you're right. Whatever. Is this gonna give me some money? Thank you. Don't believe it to start with. You know. People can sit here and tell me bad stuff all day. I will never believe it. I will never believe it. <laughs> Sorry, but I just won't. I don't care who you are. I will never believe it. I believe it long enough to get that money, and then I'm on to the next. Okay? That's how you have to think now. You can't give all your emotions and beliefs and feelings to people if it's negative towards you. You have to draw the line. Okay? I know you're a negative person. I know I depend on you. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take your money, pretend I'm listening to you, and I'm going to do whatever I'm going to do anyway. Because I don't believe a word you're saying. Just give me that money. <laughs> that's how I'm going to do it y'all running men off with asking for money on first dates damn y'all hurting <laughs> Miss Price I don't know about them asking on first dates it do seem a little desperate I would I would build up to it of course <laughs> any tips on leveling up my living space I live in a multi-family house three bedroom but four people Two sons that are at my place is drab and my oldest son sleeps on the Okay, fix your room up, baby. Fix your room. You the queen of the castle? Fix your room. Don't worry about the other rest of the house. Fix your room. Okay. Okay, let me show this. Your friend. What? Your friend. Dates a wealthy man to get money, but has sex with them. She said, you can't do it without giving it up. What to do? I'm 19. Girl, you can, she don't know no game. How old is your friend? 18? 19? Your friend don't have no experience on how to get money without sleeping with men. That's all she know. She need to come on this channel. Instead of giving it to him, she need to promise she's going to give it to him at a later date. If you promise you can get something at a later date, you have until that time to spend all his money and then don't show up and get another one and do the same thing. Okay. So. Okay. I hate to blow your bubble, but even old man or cheap went out yesterday with an old man after dinner. He said, now we can have sex. Most men are cheap and poor. Girl. Girl, I don't know what you, I don't know where you met him at and how old he was or what side of town you met him on. I don't know, girl. Don't sound normal to me. Mm-hmm. What would you suggest for female software developing working on a team of mostly men who are oppressive and undermining? What should I, girl, you need to go in there looking cute. You need to go in there looking pretty. Sexy, smelling good. You need to do the opposite of what they expect you to do. You need to get them to do your work for you. 
Okay. You either give them that, make them give you ideas and steal them. You need to do all of that. Use your feminine power to get ahead. It's like, oh, I don't know how to do this. Can you show me? Oh, can you do this? I don't know. I don't understand. Oh, this is how you do it. I don't know. Can you do it for me? Okay. Can't do nothing like that. There you go. Free work. <clears throat> I bring you a cookie back from the from the uh the cafe downstairs. <laughs> Get up to do your work, girl. Take advantage. That's what I used to do. I can't do it. It's oppressive because you're their competition. When you're not their competition and they don't see you as a threat, they're going to do all your work. You're like, oh, she's so nice. I don't want her to get fired. Oh, she's, so, she's such a pretty girl. Oh, she makes me feel so masculine. I'm going to help her out. She's no threat to me. How you doing? Mm -hmm. You, then stop giving them ideas, Alexa. That's where your problem is. Stop competing. Stop giving them anything. You ask them. Become helpless. You acting like them. You acting like the man. You need to act like the woman and get you a receiver, not a giver, baby. Thank you, Abracadabra Beauty. I started off as 50-50 wife now being fully... Taken care of financially, I now have the freedom to start my own business. You have helped me get the confidence to start my own YouTube channel. Oh, thank you, Abracadabra Beauty Sprinkle Sprinkle. I'm glad you are not 50-50 anymore. You got your own business. And you can see, it is possible if you just keep doing it every day. Don't turn back. She is a great example. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle Sprinkle. Is this, is this your YouTube channel? Y'all go subscribe. Okay. Oh gosh, here comes uh trolls. Are you a troll? I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I'm not gonna answer it. Let's see. My husband obligated to me and bills at least five years, or he gets deported. What? Okay. I was like that when I was in the military. Okay. Yep. Stop competing with men and make them work for you. Men are here to work for you. If you act right, they will do everything for you. And when I say act right, I really mean act the role, play the part of a feminine woman. You will have to do less. You cannot try to outdo a man. How are they going to impress you? Okay. Can you ask a guy to buy your outfit before a date? Eh, if they super ugly, super old, and super desperate, yes, you can. If they like you 10 times more than you like them, and they begging you, calling you, when we going to meet? <laughs> if they dripping and drool, yes, you can. But if they not, no, you can't. There, that's why. Mm -hmm. So, Stop being a work mule. That's right. Look, a, a woman at work, if a smart one at work, will barely work. Okay? Because people do it all the time. Especially higher up people. When people go to work, they have other people do their work for them. They can figure it out. They'll give you a compliment. Oh, you've been working out today? Which gym do you go to? I need to join. Can you help me real quick? I don't know how to do this. And I'm really on a time crunch. Would you mind? Oh, your shoulders. You on steroid? Oh, you know what? Just leave it here. I'll do it. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Bye. Thank you, Serena. How to get the ring after I already moved in with him. Um, You're going to have to put an alternative out there and, and uh, stop doing certain things. Okay, whatever you're doing, stop doing it. Put the alternative out. Don't don't start back doing it until the goal is met. That's basically it. <laughs> I 
Make sure he's good and used to you being there and can't imagine life without you first. Why do some women buy their own ring? Because their man can't afford the ring that they want and they don't want to be embarrassed in front of whoever show up at the wedding or ask if y'all are engaged. Mm -hmm. Sure, you're my favorite. I'm a lesbian, but if I weren't, I'd be up in this game. <laughs> I'm sure you would. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You know how many men dying and will do anything to be a citizen. Okay, I'm sure there's a lot. Make sure they got money. I'm starting my level up tomorrow. I have been in school for 3.5 years and neglected myself. I graduated Friday and it's on now. Hey, Shell H, start today. Don't wait till tomorrow. Because then you'll say that again tomorrow. Start right now. Go get you a face mask. Screw up that face. Drink you some green juice or something. Drink some tea. Just something little like that will start it. That's it. Let's start today. Mm -hmm. Shira is half Latino. Um, I know um, beauty one beauty one in here trying to start some mess. Always trying to start mess. Always trying. See, whenever somebody try to bring up other people's confidence, here come uh, people that are threatened. You threatened? Don't be threatened. Mm -hmm. You know, um, when people feel threatened, they attack first because they're afraid don't be threatened mm -hmm. what do you do when you're being ridiculed at work find a way not to have to work <clears throat> ignore do your own thing make friends with the higher up bosses go above their heads baby to somebody really ridiculing me at work, I'm finna go, the boss finna be my best friend. The higher ups finna be my good old best friend. Okay, they, then they'll stop and they, once they see who you connected to. Mm -hmm. Do you believe the strong independent black woman type is just made to demonize black women, I think it's horrible and disgusting when someone says strong, independent black woman. Thank you, Lilith, for that uh, question. I think if you don't um, give off that type of presence, then they won't think it about you because they don't ever think it about me. <laughs> they don't think it about a lot of women who don't come off that way, you know? So if you don't act like it, they'll never expect you to be that. Mm -hmm. Right. They'll just be like more interested into why you're so feminine and why you're not the independent type, the stereotype. They're, they'll be like, wow, okay. Well, I guess not all black women are like that. So, defeminized. I thought you said demonized. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah, so you just have to do the opposite. If you don't want to play into that stereotype, you need to do the opposite. Mm -hmm. It's so true. People start hating when you're leveling up and have confidence. That's why. That's because they can't control you anymore. And you're a threat to them. And they feel less confident around you because yours is up. Whenever your confidence goes up, theirs doesn't rise any higher. So they feel lower than you because you have actually risen. Okay. So you have to think in the reverse when dealing with haters and people that are threatened by you. Okay. You have to think in reverse. There's, they're not against you. They're not against you at all. They're insecure and threatened by you. That's it. Okay. How many days a week should you freestyle on a particular place? Uh, I don't think I go to the same place every day. I think I switch it up. Have one day a week to go to this place and then keep rotating. Okay. How? 
<laughs> Thank you, girl. You found me through Milo's attraction. Okay. Thank you for being here. Right. Most of the problem with a lack of confidence is that you value other people's opinion as if they are over your entire existence. If you valued your own thoughts about yourself, you might be better off. Thank you, Val, Aleph. Thank you, Sheer, for all your videos. Oh, sprinkle, sprinkle, you're welcome, girl. <laughs> sure, why do people always manipulate religion to manipulate women, especially why it's always emphasized for women to be self-sacrificing? Thank you, Lori Ray. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Well, you can always use religion to argue that comment. You can just say, well, men are supposed to be providers. So if you ain't if you ain't living by it, I ain't living by it. You know, there's always a way to come back with something. If I'm only gonna be self-sacrificing if I have the time, the energy, and the freedom to be able to have something to sacrifice. But right now I have nothing to sacrifice because I'm too busy, I'm too tired, and you ain't keeping up your end of the bargain by providing for me. So guess what? I have nothing to sacrifice. I have to keep keep doing what I need to do because I have no time, no energy to even put anybody else before me right now. You don't allow me that freedom. So when I get that freedom, maybe I'll think about doing something else for somebody else. But right now I can't. And just come straight out and tell them the truth. And, you know, you really can't allow people to use religion against you because your common sense is going to always make more sense. Okay. My friend told me that I'm not like most women. How to interpret that? That you don't fall into the stereotypical woman. So whatever that is, whatever he thinks the stereotypical woman is, is he, you don't fall into it. How t do you own your insecurities? Own it. What is your insecurity? Whatever it is, flaunt it until it becomes something that you admire about yourself. You know? Flaunt it. If, if it's something that you can change and you want to change it, work on it. That way it won't be an insecurity because you're actually doing something about it. If you can't do something about it, then accept it and fly. Not being loved enough. Love yourself then. Okay? It's not anybody else's responsibility to love you. There ain't no contracts talking about, I'm going to love you. Okay? Love yourself. People can't love you unless you love yourself. So you won't even be feeling that if you loved yourself. And when I say love yourself, I mean put yourself first. Do stuff for you. Buy stuff for you. Dress for you. You know, put yourself first. Stop caring about what they think and only care about what you think. Eat what you want to eat. Go where you want to go. Love yourself by making yourself feel good when you walk out the house in the morning. You know, love yourself. No one is guaranteed to love you in this world. Nobody. Okay? You're not even owed love. Nobody owes love to you. So stop looking for it outside of self and start loving yourself. And when people see that you value yourself, they might find value in you as well. Thank you, coding, sec, uh, coding, sec, creativity. What is it? Coding's creativity. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Become your own cheerleader. Exactly. Love yourself. I love me. Oh. I love myself. Like if you were a man and they don't love you enough, that's because you expecting them to love you. If you don't expect a man to love you and you love yourself and you don't care if he loves you or not and you still going to do your own thing and get up every day, not even your parent, your parents don't love you. I'm sure they love you somewhat. But the point is, even your parents don't owe you love. 
Turn off. <coughs> Even your parents don't owe you love. Thank you, Sheer, for sharing great knowledge with us. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh, sprinkle, sprinkle. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. All they needed, to, all they were supposed to do is produce you, feed you, and send you out into the world. That's the only job that they have. Thank you, Nibo. You look stunning. Thank you, girl. Thank you, sprinkle, sprinkle. So, you know, they're, they're not guaranteed to love you. But if you love yourself and you care about yourself and you do things that make you happy and do things for your for yourself and stop looking for people to love you, then you'll find love within. Then other people will start to see it and love you too. Yeah, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Should you travel to meet a busy man if you know it will lead to providing for you? Nope. Mm -mm. It'll lead to providing for you if you get him to come to you. You get way more if you, if you can get them to come to you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Nicole G. Sure, I have just received the phase one, phase two. Can I take more than five? Yep, I take um, take phase one until the whole bottle is gone. I do 20 drops a day, 10 in the morning, 10 in the afternoon. Then after that bottle is complete, start on phase two. Yeah. Um... Who is the best example of a leveled up woman? Anybody that walks in with confidence, um, who loves themselves and can get the lifestyle that they want. To me, that's a leveled up woman. It doesn't matter what they look like. If they can accomplish those things, they're leveled up. <clears throat> um... Right. Never travel to no man who says he's too busy. That means what he's really trying to say is you are not important enough for me to take time out to come meet you. You ain't that important. So if you ain't that important, what makes you think you're going to get some money? <laughs> You ain't that important for me to hop on a plane and come see you on the weekend. I'm sorry. Well, you must not like me then because you ain't getting on a plane. I must not be that cute. So stay busy, baby. I'll be over here doing what I do best. Look good. Uh -huh. That's exactly what I would tell them. <clears throat> How to freestyle at 19. Go out, look good. Go to the rich area of town. That's it. That's pretty much it. You're young. You can pull. Thank you, Shira. Thanks for taking time out of your day. Oh, you're welcome. Mm hmm I'm eating a cough drop. When I start talking too much, my throat get a little scratchy because I did like two five-hour videos within like a week. Ooh, I don't know why I stayed on that long. I got to get off. Mm -hmm. On my Etsy store, I sell my drops. Yes. Dark Realm on Etsy. My boss and her friends was all on my neck for a year. I went to her boss, white man, crying. I get promotions every year. I go, that's what you, you did that right, Daniel. I told you, go above. Go above their head. See, you smart. People messing with you, go above their head. Um, don't worry about trying to please everybody at work. Only please the important people. Okay, don't worry about trying to be friends with everybody. Make, make everybody happy with you. Only make 
the important person or people happy with you. That's it. Forget everybody else. They don't matter. And you can get them fired too. Um, my best friend want me to do box braids on her mom. Should I charge her for the braids? Your best friend, <clears throat> mama, um, that's a hard one. How long you been friends? Like a, forever or just recent friends? Because if it's been forever, being, you wouldn't be asking me that question. So is this a new friend? Are you sure she your best friend? You see? Okay. That answers your question. What should you do if your mom is jealous of you? Nothing. Own it. You own it. If you if you own it, she'll back down because she'll be embarrassed. Okay. Just like I know you're jealous of me, mom, but just let me be the great greatest. Just let me be greater. We're supposed to be greater than our parents. Rub it in. I'm not jealous of you. Okay. Then she'll stop because she'll see that you see and then she'll be embarrassed. So stop. You got to call it out. Okay. She'll, she'll start leveling up. Watch. If you don't call it out, she's going to keep doing it. You got to call it out. Let her know you know and she'll stop and she'll probably start leveling up and following you. So that sometimes the child starts to lead the parent. Okay? When you surpass your parents and you start to lead them, you know you're on the right track. Um, how do you become so strong and detached? It seems nothing much bothers you. I grew up in the 80s and the 90s. <clears throat> That's how. Um, the eighties and the nineties were, were a time where there was no anti-bullying. There was no, he hurt my feelings. There was no, oh, he's a narcissist. There was no, Oh, woe is me. It was get in where you fit in. Mm -hmm. It was get in where you fit in. That's what it was. If you can't get in to fit in, you missed your, you missed your boat. You weren't going to take any excuses. You won't do whatever, it had to, whatever you had to do to get to where you had to get. Okay. You didn't care. You weren't a victim. You just did what you needed to do. No one was there to um, <clears throat> coddle you. They didn't care. Okay. People weren't running to your defense every two seconds. They were watching to see how you handled yourself. Thank you, BG. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So in this day and age with, with uh, the internet, and people will run to your rescue. People will support you online. People will tear you down online. People will like or not like your stuff. And that kind of messes with your mind. Thank you, coding uh, creativity, sprinkle, sprinkle. But if people are watching you to see how you're going to handle yourself, they're not going to help you. This is a challenge you must face and defeat. 
nowadays, oh, you can't say that, or you can't call me that, or I'm mad because you feel this way, and I'm mad because you have this preference, and I'm mad because that's not politically correct. Y'all are too sensitive. That's why. Because you care too much about what people think. And we did not have that luxury to care. We had to do what we had to do to move forward. Now, everybody's upset, offended because you put a word on, you know, because you wrote a sentence. Now everybody's upset and their feelings and triggered. We didn't have that back then. Okay, everybody's too sensitive these days. Thank you, SWAT. Felicity, unable to express meekness outside of bed. How to fix it? Meekness. Outside of bed. Walk around sexy. Walk around some lingerie. Where you, where you get one of them old school uh, silk robes and some cute little furry slippers. Walk around like that at home. Okay, if you don't seem like it, at least you'll look like it. Okay, get you some lounge wear. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. How to get a, v a busy v VP keep a date? We have a date tonight, 7.30. Nope, don't text him, girl. If he don't remember you, you ain't worth remembering. Believe me, if he wanted to be with you and remember you, he he would he would. Don't chase no man. Right. So yeah, we're not as sensitive. You can call us everything in the book, and we still won't care. You know, we don't get triggered that easily. Not not my generation. So um, it takes a lot to get me triggered. A lot. What do you think about telling guys I date the life I dream of? Like, kind of. No, don't, don't, don't do it, Red Rose. Don't do it. You shouldn't tell. Um, you play into their fantasy. Ask them what they want. And you play into their fantasy. Okay. That way you can manipulate them. Later on. Mm-hmm. Oh, she I leveled up. Thank you, Luna Bella. You got invited to the VIP section in the club. Go ahead, girl. I told you. Thank you, coding uh creativity. Sprinkle, sprinkle again. How do you get your child's father to stop wanting you? Ask him for some more money, baby. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Take them to child support court or ask them for some more money. That's how. Um, <clears throat> how do I make him give me money for vacation? Tell him it's for something else. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Tell him it's for something else very necessary. Lie. She or my sugar dad, your my sugar daddy told his mama to shut up. Should I run? <laughs> Should you run if, if your sugar daddy told his mama to shut up? Imagine how he going to talk to you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Charity. Sprinkle, sprinkle. The best. Oh, thank you, girl. First of all, I would have corrected him. If he did that in front of me, I would have told him, you need to respect your mother. What he gonna do against two people? <laughs> then his mama gonna love you, girl. Tell tell you everything you need to know, cause she waiting on revenge. Get in good with that mama. She gonna help you. Stand up for his mom, and she gonna tell you what you need to know. He would have told her to shut up too. Now, he would have been uh, by himself. <laughs> ah, 
how to gain confidence at work when people undermine you. Go go make friends with the boss. Go to get in good with the higher ups. Don't worry about them little people. They don't matter. When they see you rubbing elbows with their boss, they ain't going to treat you bad no more. Because they think you're friends. Even if they're not really your friend, like the boss ain't really a friend. When you get around them, act like they're your friend. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to call you later. They might be confused, but the people ain't going to think anything. <laughs> They know each other on a personal level. Oh my gosh, I better act right. Okay, you, just, you gotta you gotta uh, fool some people sometimes. You gotta fool them, or be on a fake phone call while they listening. You're like, oh yeah, 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 Mr. John's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell him. Okay, I'll text him right. I'll tell him. Yeah, yeah. We'll see y'all later. Uh huh. Tell tell your wife I said hey. Yep. 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 Mm hmm. Oh, no, don't worry. I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him. Yeah, he he always sending me crazy jokes. Okay. All right, bye. Even if it ain't true, hell no. He'll leave you alone. They know the boss. They don't tell him I'm messed up. You have to lie in this world to survive, to make it, and to level up and get to that next level. Thank you, Roxanne. Uh, should you use reverse psychology and tell a guy you want to be friends? Sure, that works too. Then when he asks, why can we only be friends after you didn't friend him? Then you put them standards down. Thank you, Lane Gray. My sugar daddy doesn't contact me very often. When he does, I reciprocate. I would like more contact. I see him an average of once a month since June. Only been intimate once. What should I do? Get you another sugar daddy, Lynn. He's a sugar daddy. That means he has other things to do and you are just there for that one moment. That means he expects you to have other people in your roster. Okay. You need to have a couple or more. Thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle. You have so much free time. Why don't you have three more? My mom called my absent father and told him to buy me a car. Now that I have his number, what should I say to get that money? What's the best way to get that money? I need some scenarios if it could work. I don't know how old you are. Sprinkle, sprinkle, destiny. But if you're under 16 or if you're under 18 or under 21, she could file back child support. I don't know. Just say mom's talking about filing back child support if you don't get me this car. I don't want her to do that to you. It don't even have to be the truth. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Rebecca. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I am with two millionaires. You see two millionaires right now, old and divorced and seem committed to shy. Only had two dates. How do I move it to the relationship? I want the ring. Girl, you only had two dates. Oh, two, wait. You, you're moving too fast, Rebecca. You're moving too fast. Two dates? Gosh. Two dates and you want a ring. What world are you from? Because it ain't this one. He going to think you super crazy. Super. He going to ask you, did you take your medication this morning? Because that's crazy. Two dates and you want a ring. How do you get to the ring? You need to go on and buy a bunch of more dates. <clears throat> get to know them. Let them get to know you. Make it so that they cannot live without you. <laughs> you meant over time, yeah. Over time is the is, is what you need to do. Keep spending time. Um, let them get to know you. Don't be so available all the time, but you know, make you know, play into their fantasy. Tell them what they want to hear. Thank you. What if you move too fast and you seem desperate? They will. They they sure they sure will. Um, because they don't see your worth doesn't mean you are worthless. That's right. People feel intimidated when they see good in you. Yeah. Sure. What do you suggest for those who are highly absorbed in negative energies of others? Ignore them and hang around other people. 
tell yourself the opposite of things. You know, it's it's up to you what you absorb. You know, you know how some people will watch a video and be against it before they even click on it. And if they don't believe something at the beginning of that video, chances are they're not going to believe it at the end of that video if that person wasn't telling truth. You know, so just like you come into a video, um, you know, that you have zero belief in, that's how you go into negative situations. You don't give them any type of energy. You get in and you get out. Did I miss the donation. If it doesn't, if it doesn't post, I can't see it. So, um, I got Rebecca. Thank you, happy lady. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, happy lady. Uh, if you can find me on Facebook or write me on my Etsy, Dark Realm, then I can give you information. Or you can contact D Taylor. She's the last link in the description bar on my page and ask her. Thank you. She helps me add people. Okay. Um, I know this sounds ratchet, but I have a friend who is afraid to put her baby daddy on child support because she's on state assistance and he gives money on low and he might report her for fraud. Um, Okay, so she not she not qualified to be on state assistance. She's lying about how much she make. Does she want more child support? Is he gonna report her for fraud? Mm. Well, I guess she better get off of get off of it temporarily, because she can get it right back once she gets on child support. Thank you, Yen. How to take advantage of the situation when a man tells you you don't need other friends because you got him. I was threatening him with making new friends. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. What kind of friends? Male friends? Female friends? Any type of friend? Because if a man don't want you to have female friends, something wrong. I'm not saying, you know, you need them. I'm just saying. If he does not want you to have, you know, any type of friend, then something is wrong. He's insecure. He's controlling. So. <clears throat> I mean, what I would do is I would say, oh, well, I already have friends that I see every day. <laughs> but I will let you tell them. Let me call them up right quick. Hey, friends, my boyfriend said I don't need no friends because I got him. What y'all think? I didn't say that. I, I didn't say that. I said duh, 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 duh. he's going to try to back up. He's going to try to backtrack. Call people out on ABS. <laughs> then he'll never say anything about it again because he can't get you. He can't. He can't walk on you. When they see that they can't walk all over you, they, they stop trying. Thank you, Miss Myself. I'm 21. Can I get a rich guy as a step dad one child? Can I get a rich guy as a stepdad with a stepdad with one child? Sure. I don't know if you're a man or I can't. The question is all messed up. Are you a stepdad with one child? Yeah. You can get whatever you want. Go for older. Always go for older. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See, when you encounter a controlling person, you must call them out so they stop trying to control you. When they figure out that you're not the one, they will stop. Only, men can only control women that allow them to control them. Because if somebody said, you don't need no friends except for me, I'm calling my friend right now and asking them if that's the truth. Is this the truth? Because I'm confused. Because my boyfriend says that I don't need no friends except for him. What you think about that best friend? You know, don't allow people to treat you that way. Do the unexpected and they'll never, they'll never test you again, I promise you. 
she read the one. Thank you, Alice. How do you speed up the divorce process? Um, act like you sick. Sprinkle, sprinkle, Alice. Come down, what's up? Oh, I think I got cancer. You gonna speed that stuff up quick. Hurry up. Come down with some fake diagnosis, baby. Men, men will rush and run in a hurry to get out of that marriage. Sprinkle, sprinkle. But you gotta lie. Thank you. Um, yeah, I got missed myself. Uh, how to take advantage of the situation. When, yeah, yeah. How to take advantage of it. I was threatening him to making new friends. Okay. This is how you take advantage of it. You call him out on it and tell him he's too controlling. And that's what uh, abuse uh, abusers do. And da da da. And those, you're, he's giving out red flags. And so he'll have to really prove to you that he's a good guy. So you're going to be getting extra stuff and extra treat, you know, extra good treatment and stuff. You have to call him out. Thank you, Alice. Wealthy provider, sugar daddy, divorce process. Sorry. Okay. Wealthy providers, sugar daddy, divorce. Oh, his divorce. Girl, I thought you was asking for yourself. You can't do nothing. You're on the other end. <laughs> you can't do nothing. You're on the other end. And they all getting divorced, baby. They all getting divorced. You know what I'm saying? All you can do is believe the lie and collect the money. Okay. Thank you, um, Vanessa Lerner. Thank you for all you do and wisdom you bestow. You drop all gems on every channel platform. You are. Oh, thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Girl, they all get divorced. Act like you're not even concerned about the divorce. Make plans. Talk about the future without him. Talk about your future husband as if it's not him. You know, act like it's not a big deal because chances are he's really not getting a divorce. Chances are he's telling you that to keep you around. Chances are if you act like you already know he's lying and he's not getting no type of divorce and you see you don't see him in your future, he might, if he really is getting a divorce, speed it up because he doesn't think you believe him. But if you automatically believe him, he has all the time he needs. So talk about your future without him. You know what? When I get married to my future husband, I won't, you know, we're going to do this. Talk about it like it's not going to be him. Because you already know, you know, it doesn't matter. If he really is getting divorced, he'll speed it up. Thank you, Sabrina. I'm 23, 60 year old sugar daddy, makes 300000 a year. He wants to get me an apartment, a Tesla, and all bills while I take care of my baby and go to school in exchange for loyalty. Any advice um, for this date? Um, I mean, that sounds like a good deal to me. You're only 23. He's 63. You can take care of your baby and go to school. Um, loyalty. I mean, what is loyalty? You know, are you, are you trying to go out with other people while you're taking care of a baby, going to school and having a sugar daddy? That's going to be a lot of, a lot of stuff to do. You know, I mean, that sounds like an easy deal to me. I guess I'd go ahead and take that deal. Thank you, Sawad. Um, Shira, I, when I say meekness, I mean baby voice cuddles, and I don't know when I'm able and able to do that outside of the bed. Practice. Act like you're still in the bed. Practice. Walk around talking to yourself. Practice, practice, practice. What to do about a man that flirts and stares at you a lot and seems interested but pretends he's not? Know that he thinks he's the prize and keep it moving. He's trying to get you to come up to him, which is pretty pathetic. Um, mm -hmm. If your boyfriend cheated, what would you do to gain confidence? Get another one that look better and make more money? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Level up, get another one that makes more money. Get a sugar daddy on the side. Mm 
If you are 27 but look 20, what age should you go for? I say I'm 24. Uh, I'm in between those. Uh, you could pass for 24. That way he won't think you're stupid because you're 20. You'll have some type of game. He'll, he'll think you know more than you. He won't try to treat you and give you less. Do you think angel numbers are a form of false confidence? I think whatever you believe, if it benefits you and gets you to the next level, it is good. If it does not, it is bad. You know, so if it's getting you to the next level and you don't really depend on it because you already know within your, um, you know, If you already know within that you're great and you have uh, potential, then you don't need any of that other stuff. You just know already. You just know. You know, you don't need anybody else to tell you a thing. You just know already. <laughs> just know. He's saying what every woman wants to hear and ain't even took you on a first date. Exactly. Y'all have to stop being so gullible. Okay. You'll have to stop listening to other people and start listening to yourself. That's the number one key of confidence. Whatever they got to say, it don't matter. Does it line up with what you think about yourself? If it doesn't, then it's not going to work. Whatever they are saying, if it doesn't line up what you think about yourself, it's not going to work. Okay. I'm like, okay, well, oh, well. <clears throat> Sorry, kitty. <clears throat> My man walks in now and I'm watching. He's always like, well, then turn it off when he walk in, girl. Put the earphones on. He ain't supposed to hear this. Mm -hmm. Y'all got to keep some stuff secret too. Your man can't know everything. Okay. How do I tell a guy who tries to provide and makes so many promises that I am not interested? Ask her for something major. Get you some. Get you something major, okay? Major. Either he'll back up or you'll get something major. Then you might be interested. Sure, any tips on controlling, manipulating my soon-to-be child father into extensively spoiling me and us so far? He's good. He's a seven-figure guy. I think he thinks I'm trapped. Him, which I didn't. Um, first of all, he trapped himself when he slept with you with no protection. Okay. Second of all, you can file child support and get paid still. If you want more money, then get another one. But I'm my, I'm, you know, start dating. See what happens. See if he gives you some more money so you can stop dating. When is it right time to have sex with your sugar dad? When you don't work no more, when you don't clock in no more, when you don't pay bills no more, that's when. Okay, when he totally invests so much into you that you don't have to worry about anything anymore. Um, more money with another child. Get pregnant again, there you go. <laughs> Hit the jackpot. Child number two. Trap them again. Um, how to nicely say you want to be taken care of to a 50-50 situation up front. Stop paying the bills. Give him one bill extra each month. Tell him they cut your hours. Mm-hmm. Just start giving him one more bill. You can do it. You, you know, you the man. You can do it. Um, what to wear on the first date? 
where you know he likes you more. Something that shows off, you know, your figure, but not too revealing. You know, like a dress with some heels, but not too revealing. I mean, like dresses, dress feminine. Um, intentionally trapping a seven-figure man with a baby is no different than a ratchet behavior. An upper-class society will never take you seriously with that reputation. It don't matter. She got the money. We don't care. You got the money? Does it matter what they think? Okay. They'll never take you seriously, but uh, you'll you'll have serious money. Thank you, Rachel. Raquel. I am in your Pisces. You can relate how to think and strategize down to growing up. Poverty mind. I was picked Misha now. Three different wealthy older men and stack it up. Thank you, girl. Sprinkle, sprinkle, girl. Yes. Mm hmm. What should you do about a guy that is consistent but not as consistent as he was? Get another one. Have two. Why you only have one? You know. Um. You just stop doing less for him. You pull back too. Is it okay to ask Secretary he can pay my tuition? It costs. Yep, it's okay. He, he, you can ask him. You could tell him, your mom's not going to pay for you. You're going to have to drop out. See if he'll rescue you. There's ratchet people in high society, and all the time they call them eccentric. <laughs> exactly. Be eccentric. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I got to go. But thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for everybody who donated. I hope this video will help you build your confidence and keep it. Or at least help you um, love yourself more. And stop, you know, feeling bad about yourself. And start empowering yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're welcome. Um. Build confidence by taking money from men. That's right. Believe me, that builds confidence quick. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. What? You broke off an almost seven-year friendship. I was getting anxiety with the way we were connected on social media. He unbothered. I, girl, y'all too, y'all too wimpy. I can't help y'all. Y'all too wimpy. Y'all, y'all need to go back in time and grow up in the eighties. Cause y'all are too weak and wimpy. Y'all care too much what people think. Y'all too sensitive. Get off the dang internet if you are triggered. You know what I'm saying? I could care less what somebody do online. I don't care. You know? Are they paying my bills? They got some money? Are they adding value to my life? If they're not, I don't care. You know, y'all are too sensitive. You're too sensitive. You're too sensitive. Y'all gotta get a backbone. <laughs> Would I let a man take you on vacation with your toddler? No, but I'll take that money. I'm not taking my toddler nowhere, nowhere with no, unless like we've known each other for years and we're in a real relationship. No, I'm not. Like, I'm not doing that. The only reason is because I don't trust people. Okay, I don't trust somebody like that. I don't trust nobody like that. But that's just me. I don't trust people easily. Um. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Should I have unfollowed? I don't care. Like, it don't matter. Like, for me, if that person is not beneficial to your life, it don't matter. You're not losing a thing. Okay? Because they ain't adding a thing. So why do you care? Do what makes you feel most comfortable. Right? Mm-hmm. 
Who cares what people think? I don't care. I really don't care. I think social media makes people care too much because, like, I really don't care. You know, if you care so much what people think, don't be on social media with them. Block them. Mm hmm. Oh, my light. Kitty. Kitty's messing with this light cord. No, kitty. No, you're going to get us killed. <laughs> the cat just down there chilling, messing with my cord. No. That's the second time she did that. I'm about to keep her from over there. Um, How do I make him come travel to see me instead of me traveling to see him? Ask him. Invite him. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not finna go nowhere for nobody. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I, I don't travel alone. I'm going to need first class and I have three giant dogs I have to put in the kennel. $75 a day. I got to pay for parking. Um, I just make up a whole bunch of stuff while I can't go. You want to come see me? You can come on. Thank you for the great advice on the book, The Art of Seduction. But now, yeah, and, and go also listen to uh, 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene as well. And you'll know how to handle everybody's situation. Boss, co-worker, family members, friends, sugar daddy. Go to the last, to join my group, go in, go in the last, um, link in my description bar and contact D Taylor on Facebook and ask to join. Okay. How to do, how to gain confidence when starting from zero. Everybody start from zero. You know, one day at a time, do something that improves yourself on a daily basis until you start seeing the results until your confidence starts growing. You know, it's not overnight. I listen to she every day when I am driving. <laughs> you know, and here's another thing, because I know this is kind of like, well, what if I don't like how I look? What if nobody else likes how I look and I have low self-confidence because I don't know what to do? I don't know where to start. Well, here's one last thing. Write down what you want to change about yourself. Write down what you want to look like, how you want to be, and then start executing. That's it. Write it down and execute it. If you don't know, sit there until you figure it out and write it down and work towards maybe one or two things at a time. Don't overwhelm yourself trying to do everything. Complete one thing, then add another thing to your plate until you're able to handle it all. But start somewhere. It don't even matter. Just pick the, the first thing you want to work on and start working on it. Like, if you don't like the way you look, maybe you need some makeup. Learn, write down, learn how to do makeup. Buy makeup, learn how to do makeup. That's step one. You can do that every day to practice every day. If you don't like how you dress, learn how to style yourself. Learn, what, learn how to dress. Put that down. Watch TV shows, YouTube videos, look books or whatever. And get some clues and ideas. But you got to start somewhere. You can't just sit there and say, well, I don't know what to do. You got to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Um, What do you think about exotic dancing? I think it's easier to get money without doing any of that. But if that's, if that's what you want to do, then go for it. Thank you, Daisy. I, is Etsy still the best way to contact you? Yes. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, 
you know, I think you can get money without doing certain things, but if you don't know the game, then, you know, it's going to be harder. That's why you got to be smart. You got to pay attention and you got to use what you have. Use the knowledge that you have. Um, if you have bad breath, carry a mint. Okay, that's good advice. Thank you, Serene13. My boyfriend makes 300k a year but does not pay my bills. We have been dating two months. He is 10 years older than me. Should I move in? Heck no. Um, do you ask him to pay the bills? If it were me, does he expect you to pay half the rent or whatever, or half the house mortgage or whatever? Or you? If I'm dating someone who's making that kind of money, I'm not paying no type of bill. Yep, again, in life. No. Thank you, Rose. Sprinkle, sprinkle. My sugar daddy for the past few months who is separated, just flew me. Separated. Just flew me to New York. I want to get put on a monthly and receive or receive huge deposit like 10K. How should I bring up? He has given over 5K so far and had sex. Ooh, get some expensive jewelry. Make him take you to buy something very expensive. Okay. Then go sell it. <laughs> or you could ask. Tell him what you need. See if he complies. But if you already had sex... It's less likely he's going to give you that big amount. Maybe if you can get him to buy you some expensive jewelry and take it and sell it. But you already gave up the goods, so he could say no and still just, you know, we'll see. Ask to go shopping. Go for some jewelry. Add stuff up. Like, you know, get this, get that, get this. You know, add stuff up. If he has a credit card, you know, he might rack it up. Jesus is the reason for the season, Mandy says. Okay, Mandy. <clears throat> all right, so I got to go, but thank y'all for tuning in. Sprinkle, sprinkle, everyone, everyone. Hit the like button as you go out. If you're new, subscribe. Don't forget to check out the audiobook in the description link to 48 Laws of Power. This will also help you. Um, and also, another key to confidence is knowledge. If you know certain things and you know how to treat certain people to get certain things done, your confidence goes up high too because you're, you know you're smarter than some people and you know how to get your way. So you walk in confidence, like with confidence, like I know what I'm, gonna, I'm getting ready to do. Okay, so do not teach, they don't teach this in school, they sure don't. <laughs> so you got to walk in with a plan and you need to learn how to execute it and walk out with what you want. That's confidence. Walking in somewhere unsure, it will show. You got to walk in like you know what you're going to do. I'm walking in. I'm getting ready to get free drinks, free food, meet someone with some money. That's what I'm getting ready to do. What you doing? <laughs> walk in like you already know what's going to happen. And walk in like that. Walk in like royalty. And that confidence is going to be shown. People will be attracted to it. Okay. See y'all later. Bye.